the price on this Lego set kind of makes me sick. I'm not even going to lie. So here we have the new Lego Star Wars set number 75360, Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. 253 pieces, $35. Set to release on August 1st. You get too many figures here, and it's almost like a direct replica of the older model, which was significantly cheaper. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel. We're going to have all the new LEGO Star Wars sets on review early. We're also going to do a special comparison between this one and the old one. We're not going to do that specifically in this one. We're just going to do a review and give this set what it deserves, its own set review. So you get Yoda here. And, you know, he's Yoda. We have plenty of Yoda minifigures. I do like the hair on the back, though. So, there you go. You get Yoda. And you get my favorite Lego character, or my favorite Star Wars character, I should say. R2-D2. Again, just a pretty basic thing there. And then, you get the set. We're going to put the camera down a little bit here. I like doing these rapid-fire reviews here. So, all in all, I think, I mean, I think the set is a pretty good-looking set. I mean, in my opinion. There's some stickers. One, two, three, four. Four stickers. You get the uh, the green blasters there. Go all the way around. It was a fun build. It took me like all of about, I don't know, maybe an hour or so to build it. I like that you have a place for Yoda's lightsaber on the back there. Obviously, you have your little blasters there. And overall, I think it's a pretty decent set. Oh, there's more stickers there here on the side and as well as the other side. So I think it's a nice build. I just am not impressed with $35. Man, this is a printed cockpit piece, by the way. And then you just fold up there. So Yoda fits very nicely inside the cockpit. You stand him up there. He's got his little legs. Sends right in there. Overall, wait. Don't buy the set for full retail price. It's not worth it. $35 is egregious for this set. In my opinion, um, I can't believe that I bought it for full retail, but I didn't buy it technically 100% full retail because I got Kohl's cash. There's my hint. 